Okay, well, uh, <laughs> as you can tell, maybe my neck is a different color from my face right now, and that is because I bought some Kaya makeup that I'm currently making a video for. Unfortunately, I have to make this video too, so that's just how I'm gonna look in this video. <laughs> but anyway, we're not here to talk about the Kaya makeup review. I need to tell you all of my thoughts about Eurovision because I have so much to say. <laughs> Uh, my predictions from the music videos, like my own predictions totally changed by the time I actually saw the live performances, which I expected. You know, it's hard to know for sure how well a song will do until you actually see it performed live. So I did a whole new order of what I thought was going to win. And spoiler, Italy was not even in my top 10. So yeah. Let's get into it. I'm so excited. So here are my reactions and thoughts about Eurovision 2021. <laughs> yeah. When the show started, I was watching Eurovision with some friends, including some guys who were not that excited about Eurovision. But then the first performance was Cyprus, and suddenly they loved Eurovision. <laughs> but in all honesty, I actually did really like her performance, and I was surprised that she didn't even place in the top 10. One of the performances that just blew me away was Bulgaria. I really am surprised that that one didn't do better because it was so different from anything else and the way that they had done the graphics for the water and I don't even know how they did the sand I don't know that the whole thing just really blew me away and so I loved Bulgaria's performance it felt like magical to me so after I made my video about the music videos, I talked about Ukraine's video, and then when I made my final predictions, Ukraine didn't make it into either list that I had made. So here's like my redemption for Ukraine. Their performance was amazing. I think at first it can definitely be a little like bizarre, but that's kind of why it works. You would have to watch it and really experience the full production. The song and the energy and the, the camera movements and how everything just builds up faster and faster. I really did think Ukraine was going to end up winning. Okay, so now's a good time, you know, in the middle of my video to talk about my list. <laughs> I made a new list of what I thought was going to win. And this is based on the live performances after I'd seen them. My order was Ukraine, Switzerland, France, Finland, Iceland, Cyprus, Bulgaria, Lithuania, Malta, and Greece. And if you notice, Italy still wasn't in the list. So, okay, so we need to talk about this, okay? I spent all of Sunday just being like sad that Italy won. You know, nothing against Italy. So maybe I was just, I was sad that Switzerland didn't win, you know? I guess I was just really surprised. I feel like Italy came out of nowhere. And I've been following the Eurovision subreddit, which I recommend. If you're into Eurovision, you should definitely follow the subreddit because Eurovision memes are so specific and hilarious. So... There were definitely people that were hyped up for Italy, like I knew that, but I think the hype for France and Malta was just so much higher. So like actually based on the jury votes, I think this top 10 was spot on. Maybe because they put Switzerland as number one. <laughs> like even though I would have loved to have seen Ukraine higher and Finland in the top 10. Like, I at least would understand this order. And you know, I know people were hyped up about France, but it still doesn't do it for me. I guess I don't really have any complaints about the song or the performance. It's just more that I have other songs that really did wow me, and France didn't. 
sorry italy even less so like i really i promise i'm not trying to like bash italy this is more about me just like surprised at how well italy did when to me it didn't stand out when you look at italy and finland like finland also had like a rock heavy metal type song you know and i loved finland's song that song totally grew on me like You know, I kind of wish I had documented my favorite songs over time because in the very beginning, like two months ago, Israel was my number one. And then a month later, it was still in my top, but then I was all about Australia. Another couple weeks later, and it's like, oh man, I love Finland's song and I love Slovenia. Oh my gosh, we need to talk about Slovenia. That song is a perfect example of one that I was, I guess I just didn't have an opinion about. Like I wasn't listening to it. And then I would start to hear it again. And I realized that it's a banger. Like it's so good. I love Slovenia's song and she performed it so well. Like that was probably one of my favorite parts about watching the live performances was just seeing which performers could really sing well live, which is why I think Portugal really stood out to me. Same thing for Belgium, you know, she didn't put on the big dance show, but she sounded so good. And oh, I would say I think the biggest shock for what didn't make the final would have been Croatia. That was really a bummer. And it's tough because like, you know, I don't know what should have been eliminated instead, you know? Oh, Romania. So I don't know anything about Romania's performer. Um, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Roxen? Roxen would be the American English way, so I'll say that. You know, she was in my top 10, and then I saw her perform, and it was an immediate, like, oh no, like, I don't think it's gonna make it to the final, and it didn't. I I feel so bad because one of the things I'd seen on Reddit, there were some rumors going around that she was struggling vocally and that she was really running out of breath and that was spot on. That was definitely a surprise was seeing Romania and Romania didn't do so hot. Yeah, you know, the same thing goes for Latvia. Oh, I don't want to be too mean, but what was that? (laughs) I don't even know where to start. But I think most importantly would have been the vocals and where was she with her vocals? She was not on the right key. But then on top of that, like, okay, let's say she mastered those vocals. What were those outfits? (laughs) Who made this routine? (laughs) I'm so confused. What are they wearing and why? But like every show, the graphics were amazing. I loved the floor graphics, so that part was good. And that is the only nice thing I have to say. (laughs) So in my last video, I actually had Serbia in my predicted top 10. And here's why. Yeah, I don't think the song is very good, to be honest. And even the music video wasn't that exciting either. But what really sold me was that I watched an acoustic version and the acoustic version of Loco Loco was actually really good. I think it's because you can actually like hear a melody. And the actual Loco Loco song, it's exactly that. It's Loco Loco. It's just out of control and there's so much happening. And I was really hoping that maybe the live performance would make it feel more cohesive. And then it it didn't. There was, there was a lot going on. 
Oh, there's a lot of hair. <laughs> so much hair moving around. But see, now these girls can do all of their crazy dancing and not run out of breath. And so going back to Roxon, I don't know what was happening because she was just walking around and could barely make it. So ugh. we got to talk about Iceland. I have to say their performance was really fun. And for some reason, my family does not like Iceland's performance, but I think they're wrong. <laughs> so now the most upsetting part. From the public, zero points. I just, I don't get it. What the heck? The UK is the first country ever to get a zero zero. Okay, there's a few things I need to say here. First of all, the UK is one of my favorite songs this year. Even in my last video, I didn't talk about the music video, but in my final list, I had it as my fourth favorite song. Like, I love that song. The performance isn't amazing, but like he sung it really well and the song is good. And I feel like those two things alone should at least get you one vote. <laughs> I voted for the UK, okay? Aww. They got at least one vote from me. <laughs> what I really don't get is how Germany got three votes because that is way too many votes. <laughs> I wanted to keep my last video positive and really just keep everything lighthearted, but not this time. Germany's song got three points. That's three too many points. <laughs> if somebody likes Germany's song, please tell me why. I will say, here's my little redemption, because I don't want to be just a negative Nancy, okay? Like, I will say that the music video for Germany's song actually kind of justifies the song. Like, you don't hate the song as much when you actually see the video alongside with it. So in that context, the song can be okay. But let me tell you, that song, the first three seconds of that song makes me want to punch something. <laughs> Anyway, Germany getting any votes at all from the jury. Here I was saying like, oh man, the jury was spot on. Totally agree with their order, one to 10. And then I found out the same jury gave Germany three points. No. Oh, also good news. Flo Rida made it to the competition. Wow. <laughs> So apparently we weren't sure if Flo Rida was actually going to make it to the competition or not because apparently he was supposed to be judging a bikini contest. <laughs> I guess he must have finished judging early because he made it out in time to the competition. I'm a little curious who won, who won the bikini contest. If I end up finding the winner, I'll put it here. Maybe. Actually... I don't know if I'll be allowed to put this photo in case it's like really inappropriate. I don't know what kind of bikinis these are. Oh, another song that I never got to talk about in the last video was from Lithuania. They're in my top 10. I am so happy that they did really, really well in the competition and it was very much deserved to make it to the final. So yeah, I love the song, love the performance and yeah. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Switzerland was amazing. I wish Switzerland had won. It did get first from the jury, so at least there was that. I talked about Slovenia being one of my new favorites, but I also love Finland now. And I think I kind of mentioned it earlier, but like, okay, first of all, what is it with Finland and metal and hard rock bands? And apparently Finland has like the most hard rock bands per capita. <laughs> what a weird statistic to have, but their song, it totally grows on you. Every 
Okay, I think I've covered all the songs I want to talk about. So let's have a final look at the results of my predictions and what actually happened. <laughs> my personal top 10 was pretty disappointing. <laughs> Australia was out in the semifinal. So what that means is that out of my top 10, two of them made it in the actual top 10. For my actual top 10, I did much better. The only song that didn't make it to the final was Romania. Otherwise, I got four of the top 10 correct, uh, in a different order, of course. So now looking at the differences between the jury vote and the televote, all of them made the final top 10 except for Bulgaria and Portugal. In the televote, the only one that didn't make the top 10 was Serbia. So Lithuania did not get in the jury top 10. Finland was not in the jury vote either, and it ended up in fourth place. So going into the finale with my brand new top 10, I was able to predict eight out of the 10. And the two that I didn't predict were Russia and Italy. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of how I did, except for the fact that the winner wasn't even on my list. <laughs> so what have I learned from my first Eurovision experience? <laughs> um, you know, this was interesting for me because I, I honestly wanted to wait until Eurovision started to hear any of the songs for the first time. I think that's probably how most people do go into Eurovision is they wait until it starts and then that is the first time they hear the songs and watch the performances. I think that could maybe really give more insight into why France and Italy did so well when to me they were just average songs. Average is maybe a mean word, but... What I mean by that is just that other ones stood out to me more. Eurovision is amazing. I love it. I will probably be even more invested next year. <laughs> I think this is the end of my Eurovision 2021 adventure. It's been several months in the making. I would still love to know what you guys think. Should Italy have won? That's my main question. <laughs> I'm surprised, I guess. But you know, next year competition will be in Italy and maybe next year, could I get tickets to go? Oh my gosh, sign me up. I wanna go to Eurovision next year. If you guys watched Eurovision this year, I'd love to know your thoughts. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. <laughs> hey though. If I end up finding the winner, I'll put it here. Maybe. Actually, I don't know what kind of bikinis these are. <laughs> <laughs>